Hello people, this is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using um, Feed the Beast and Direwolf 20's mod pack. And... Oop, did it again. There we go. Today, I'm finally going to get started uh, finishing. <laughs> started finishing, how's that? Um, this area down here where I'm going to be um, kind of changing up this, uh, oh, what do I call it? Before I had a, I had a, uh, I guess I had a filter. It was pulling things out of this ender chest right here, which is the other ender chest, the other end of the ender chest, so to speak, is at a quarry. And I want to, uh, which is already exhausted, I want to change that, uh, re-site re uh, that quarry to a, another area that hasn't been loaded yet. A chunk, chunks that have not been loaded yet so that it'll be newly gener, uh, excuse me, my cat just jumped on me. Anyway, I want to, uh, I want to find newly generated terrain so that, so that it'll um, be able to mine quartz, which I need for applied energetic, applied energetics. How do you say that? Applied energetics. That's how we'll say it. Anyway, uh, a newly uh, an, a mod that's been newly added to uh, this mod pack, and uh, so I want to I want to use that for my for my item storage. Anyway, so we, we need a new quarry, and I wanted to to add to this, this to this setup. I got a new line of barrels over here, which are all empty. I want to add a I want to add some machines here to automatically smelt, pulverize, and smelt ores. Uh, anyway, so I've got everything. I think I have everything I need to make the machines for that. First, I think we need to kill these. We need to kill the spiders that are outside because they're going to annoy me. Let's see, do I have? I do. Okay. There you go. Goodbye. Because that was altogether too noisy. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is I need to make a number of machines. I need to make, well, I hear, I don't know if I've shown this, I have two fabricators here. Um, fa fabricators are um, machines for making things like a project table or a old, vi oh, you know what, I lost my tooltip. Uh, let's see, this is what I want. Tooltip options. No. Hmm. No. Options. What happened to. I had a tooltip. Tooltip. Oh, here we go. Alright. There we go. In the, uh, in the um, top right corner. It has a tooltip. It shows you, it, it has the name of whatever item your cursor's on. Anyway, so we got the vanilla crafting table. We got the project table. I think that's from, is that from Red Power? Anyway, pretty useful thing. Anyway, so these are fabricators. They're from uh, Zycraft. And so they're like that. It, give, it gives you a crafting grid. You, you can, um, whatever item it, it'll craft is in the center here. And I, uh, I just cleared it because I don't want that anymore. Um, and we can take that out because I don't want that there either. Put that in here. Now, one of the cool things, there's several cool things about fabricators. One is that when you when you put all the items you need to make something, uh, say, let's get an example. I have lots of cobble so we can waste some of this cobble. Say I wanted to make, um, say I wanted to make a furnace, a vanilla furnace. I could put I could put the, the blocks in there and it'll tell me what the recipe is. And, uh, and I can right click and it'll make it, right? And actually I can right click again and it'll make another one. And the reason it's got, uh, it can do that is because it's pulling items out of this chest. It'll also use items that are right here. In fact, if I take this cobble that's in my inventory and I place it over here, it's gonna automatically make as many furnaces as it can. I bl uh, will it? No, it won't. Uh, because I have this button here. Now, the default is it would make as many as it could. But I ha right now I have it set to pulse. It, it can be controlled by a redstone um, signal. And uh, if it's 
it, there's two settings for auto. Auto low and auto high. Auto low, if there's no redstone signal, it'll automatically make as many as it can. And in fact, it'll pull it out of here too, and I don't want to, I don't want it to do that. So let's take that cobble out of here. Anyway, so I'm, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna click this button right here, where my cursor is that says auto low, and what that'll mean is it'll make as many. Actually, let me clear this out too. Because what you, what you, another thing you can do is you can you can go into any eye, and uh, if I type in furnace, and I uh, I click on that, right, and it's showing me what the recipe is. If I hit the question mark, it'll automatically populate. Uh, it'll it'll put the recipe right here, right. And now, uh, if I if I and by default when you make a fabricator, it's set to auto low. So I'm gonna click it now. Now, did you see what happened? All the cobble that was in its inventory here on the right was taken away and turned into furnaces, as many as it could. So I got seven furnaces. Now, if I if I threw the cobble, if I threw the cobble that I have in my inventory down here into this chest, it would automatically pull um, the cobble out of that chest and make furnaces. Uh, actually, I guess I could just do that to, to demonstrate. Let me, um, so if I had eight, you need eight cobble for a furnace. Anyway, so you see there's seven furnaces right here. If I throw these eight in here, you see they disappeared. And for a moment, you can see the recipe on the top. That's another cool thing. Anyway, now there's eight furnaces. So it pulled, it pulled that cobble out and made another furnace. It's, uh, now, if to clear this recipe, I can right-click on on this uh, icon that's in the middle of the, that's in the middle of its interface, All right? And so it's gone. Um, now, okay, so that's with it set to auto low. Now you can you can also have it set to auto high, which means it'll you can like have a lever right here and turn it off. Set everything up the way you want it, then turn the lever on, and it would automatically create as many as you want. Another option is to set it to pulse, right? Which means it'll only craft whenever it receives an on and off signal. And that you get, of course, from a button. And in fact, I placed a button on these. That normally, um, I guess I could take it off here to show. There. Um, that's, what the, that's the way. And actually, if it's set to auto low, you can see that the... Uh, it kind of lights up, right? And if I set it to auto high, it dims down. And if I had a lever, I don't have a lever on me, but I'm sure if I put a lever right down there, and <coughs> and turned it on, it would it would uh, it would kind of light up again. And then if I have pulse on it, then I need a button. I can stick the button right on it. And you have to do a shift shift. Okay. Now if I press the button. There you go. See, it, it lit up while while I press the button. It's not, of course, not making anything because there's no recipe up here. Okay, so let's get rid of that and let's put this cobble back in here. And so we're gonna actually make some things. And the first thing I'm gonna first I'm gonna sleep through the night so this, nothing spawns up there and starts making noises again like a spider. Because they are they like to like hang out right above me and they're really loud. Okay, so we need some pulverizers and some powered furnaces. Those are Machines from thermal expansion. Oh, so so you see, I have a bunch of stuff in here in that chest, and it, it's using that chest as inventory. You can also use this other fabricator as inventory, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. Anyway, so let's look up uh, pulverizer first. Pulverizer. Uh, I didn't want an F. I wanted a P. I don't know why I typed an F. Okay, so pulverizer. So here's a pulverizer. You need pistons, machine frames. Uh, flint and anyway, so first let's make we're gonna make um, three pulverizers So uh, which means we need three machine frames. So if I click on machine frames, it'll gives me that gives me the recipe glass iron and gold and I and I click on the question mark and it automatically populates the um, It automatically populates the recipe. I've got it set to pulse So it's not gonna actually make anything, but I believe I have everything I need for that recipe in the chest so if I click on the button it makes one. You can see that the recipe appeared right here on the top in the grid, so you can see what's going on. That's a really cool effect. So I got one machine frame. I need two more. Okay, so now I got, I got three machine frames. Now let's go back to the pulverizer. I need three redstone reception coils. So let's put that in there and click three times. Whoops. One. 
I bl okay, so you see the recipe showing up on the top. I believe if you didn't have the ingredients you needed, that would not happen. So that would give you some feedback. I, I believe that's the case. Anyway, so we got three redstone receptacle coils. And I think that's everything we need. I think everything else... Oh, no. Do we need to have three pistons? I think there's... I already have two pistons in there, so we need another piston. So we'll uh, get the piston recipe in there and click once. Okay, now we should have everything we need. So let's go back to the pulverizer, click the question mark. Now we've got the pulverizer recipe in here. So I click, um, actually, you know what I can do is I can set this to auto low and it automatically made the three pulverizers for me. Just like that. Wham. Okay, so I got my three pulverizers. Now let's go back to pulse. So I don't need that anymore. Okay, so now I want... I want um, three, um, what do I want? Oh, a power, powered furnace. Right there. Okay, so I need three more machine frames and three more redstone reception coils. So we'll put the machine frames in there and click this three times. Two, three, okay. And I need three reception coils. One. Two, three. Okay, now we need. So we just get the. Um, do I have bricks in there? No, I don't. Okay, this is a chance to see if this. If I don't have everything I need, and I click on that. Oh, you see, it lit up, but there's no recipe in the top, so it didn't do anything. Okay, so what I'm missing is the uh, bricks. So let's put the recipe for that in there and I need six of them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you see it, that uses that uses these bricks. <laughs> you make you make these bricks with these bricks. That's kind of messed up, but anyway. Okay, so I should have everything I need for three of these. So we'll uh, set this to auto low. Whoop, and it made three power furnaces. Okay, and now I also need some relays. Actually, and I'm not sure if I have everything I need for relays in. Whoops, in that chest, but we'll find out. Okay, relay, uh, right here. So I probably don't. I probably don't have buffers and trests. Let's find out here. No. Okay. So, let's see if I have everything I need for a buffer. I might need to make some more of those too. No. So I need um that was that what's that called? That, those kind of bars. I have some right here. Iron bars. Uh, I have some. I had some iron bars in there from exploring the uh, the maze. Okay. Okay. So, oh, you know what? It saved up that one. I guess it. I got my three buffers. It saved, it kind of saved up the, oh, it just, I don't know. Oh, I still have it on auto low. There we go. Okay, so I got three buffers. And three, three, three. You know what? I think I need more than that because I think I need six buffers. Um, I mean, I mean, I need, I need six, um, I'm going to need six relays, which means I need, um, I need six buffers. So let's get this recipe back. So, which means I need more iron bars. Actually, I guess I need to go back here. Iron bars. So I need um, I need 12 more iron bars. So I just need to make one of these. And good. Uh, can I go like that? No. There we go. So I just need to click. I just need one set of these. And that'll give me enough iron bars. Okay. So now let's see if I can make more. More. Uh, more buffers. I need three more buffers, right? I believe so. So, one, two, three. Okay, so now I need six transposers. And yeah, let's see if I have any transposers in here. That furnace says, no, I don't. So, back, 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 back. Transposers. And, oh, I need, so I need six pistons also. I don't think I have six pistons in there. Okay, so let's make six pistons. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, transposers. Okay, so this should be everything we need for transposers. All right, let's just put that on low. We only got one because we're missing something. We are missing something. What are we missing? Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so transposers. We ran out of something. So let's see. Cobble, wood, and redstone. We probably ran out of cobble. No. Redstone? No. What was the other thing? Wood. We ran out of wood. We need more wood. And there should be wood right here. Uh, I guess that we'll have to grab some spruce. Okay, so let's throw the wood in here. Okay, so it made another piston. Oh, it made them all. Four. Okay, so we got six transposers. So it remembered that it that I uh, that I tried to actually. Yeah, I already had. All right, it still had it for idle low. So it. So as soon as it had enough wood to make the six transposers, it did it because I had it set to auto low. Okay, so six transposers, six buffers. So now I think we got everything we need for our relay. And and we got some lag again. Let's get out of that. Okay, let me try that again. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing, I guess. Okay, there. As soon as I, I selected the question, hit the question mark, it made the six relays for me. Okay, and that could be everything that we need. That could be, no, I need some, I need some tubes, pneumatic tubes, and they are not in here. It could be downstairs. Uh-oh, you know what? I just remembered I, I forgot to set my timer. Uh, they're not there. Here they are. Okay, and I probably should grab a screwdriver if I don't have a screwdriver already. I do have a screwdriver. Okay, now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I forgot to set my timer, so I need to set my timer. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got my thing recording. So we got, there we go. We've got uh, 14 minutes to go. Okay, that, so... I spent too long with the fabricators. I'm oh, ooh, wow. Um, okay, so what I need to do is, oh, oh actually, I'm not gonna have enough time to do this anyway. But I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need paint brushes um, because the sorting machine. What I'm gonna be doing is uh, having. Uh, I'm gonna have it separate the ores oh, and and actually some other things but uh, the ores basically to begin with separate the ores that I want to be automatically pulverized and smelted from everything else and send them in two different paths and for this and the sor sorting machine does that by um, assigning colors to the items and then you paint the tubes so that they will go down the right you know take the right tubes and go down the right paths anyway so um, so I have some paint upstairs for that but so um, so we got to do that anyway. So, but we can start off by just laying out our tubes, and I need to navigate my way around all this piping. Um, so, actually, so we need actually to go like I guess we can go like this, put that there, and this can go here. So we got one tube is just going to go right. One path is going to go right to the um, the barrels, right? And this path is going to go to the uh, the pulverizing and smelting. So I guess we can go right here and actually, hmm. <laughs> I need a, I'm not sure if this is enough room, but I need to make, I need to turn a corner. Now we're going to start off by, you know what? I needed, I needed seven relays, not six. Got to go make another relay. Oh my goodness. Upstairs we go. And let's sleep through the night again so the spiders won't spawn. Okay. And, uh, okay, so, relay. Relay. I need to make another transposer, which means I need to, need, need to make another piston. Oh, 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 I need to set that to pulse. I didn't really want eight pistons. Okay. Transposer. I 
I'm missing something. What am I missing? More wood? I used up all that. No, I didn't use up all the wood. What did you use up? Cobble. I need more cobble. Ugh. Those pistons. As soon as I put this cobble in, it'll probably make it. No. No. Okay. Transposer. There we go. Okay. So I should have enough for a relay now. Unless I'm out of red doped wafers. No. What am I missing now? Uh, oh, did I not make a buffer? I didn't make a buffer. Buffer. And let's see if I have everything I need for that. Yes. Okay, now I should have everything I need for a relay. Yes. Okay, relay. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, well we start off, we start off, let's get this stuff out of the way and put these things down here. Okay, the way this is going to work is I first I put down a relay and it's gonna go right here. And I need to turn it around with my screwdriver because I want it to output this way. Now the reason for using a relay here, uh, uh, wait, uh, the way the relay works is if you put, you can just put things into this uh, relay and I think it'll spit them out, yeah. And it automatically spits them out. But of course if there are tubes there, it would split them in the, into the tubes. And I guess we can just leave that right that. Okay, so now this seems kind of really silly. You know, it's going from the tube into the relay into the tube. What's the point of that? The point of that is this also can act as a buffer. Um, so, because there's going to be other things over here, but if those things are absolutely full, then, and more things are coming in, then they can be stored inside the relay as a buffer, and that's the reason for having it, and that's in fact the reason for these other relays too, is to act as buffers. It's because I'm going to put a buffer, I'm going to put one buffer, uh, excuse me, a relay there, there, and there. And these things don't have to be powered by redstone or anything to work, or by bluetricity, like the sorting machine does. Um, they will just work the, f the way they are, but of course they are turned the wrong way, so I need to turn them this way, this way, this way. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. This way, and this one is now messed up. Actually, I think if I right click, oh no. Ugh. There we go. Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, of course, I might have a problem over here with with uh, space, but let's so let's do the others to see. Okay. So I've got. So right now, the items are going to go. They go into this buffer. Gets and gets shot out. You know, they go into this tube. Now, this looks kind of funny, but the, what should happen is that it'll, it'll. Um, It'll, it'll kind of randomly, it'll kind of evenly split up whatever is passing in, in here between the buffers. Uh, so the first step is to pulverize things. So I'm going to put a pulverizer right here, a pulverizer right here, and a pulverizer right here. And I need to change the orientation of these pulverizers because I think, actually that one can stay the way it is, but maybe, yeah, but this one needs to be turned. I want it to, I want the front to be facing, I guess you don't use a screwdriver, you use a different kind of wrench. I need a different kind of wrench here. Maybe this kind of wrench. So we will put that right there. Let's try this one. Yes, okay, so we want the front facing that way. So I'll just set up, so I've, I've got, what I have here is I'm going to have three different uh, ar arms, each one doing this uh, processing. So. Um, so the input here, it's the um, the uh, ores to be smelted or to pulverize. <clears throat> this is a pulverizer. First, we're going to pulverize ores to be pulverized are going to be coming in from the right. So I need to set this up so that input is coming from the right. And I'll just turn these off for now. Get them out of my way. There we go. Okay, so so um, items land into the uh, input and get pulverize go to the output and the output is going to be on the left so I need to set this to output now I want this is the primary output and this is the secondary output because say say you were uh, pulverizing uh, copper I believe if you pulverize copper right here uh, the uh, copper pulverized copper ends up in in right here in the top one 
you can actually get two stacks. But also there's a small chance of getting a little bit of pulverized gold. And if that happened, the pulverized gold would, would land right here in the secondary output. Now I want both of these, I want anything that lands in either one of these slots to be output to the left. And to the left is going to be another relay right there, right? And that's acting as another buffer. Because if, uh, if I just put, if I put the uh, powered furnace right there, then of course anything, you know, the copper that was being pulverized would land right there into the, um, into the uh, pull and the powered furnace, which would be which would be fine, but the um, pulverized gold would s be stuck there, and would never be output. And it you know depending on what else happened, what else was coming through the line, that could back things up. Uh, so if I put a relay there instead, then the gold will automatically go into the relay, and that'll just help to uh, you know to keep things going. So then we're going to put the powered furnace. Uh, right there and we of course need to change the orientation of this relay because we want the output which is this gray bar to be facing the power furnace now so the input needs to be here on the right there and these will just turn off for now actually we could and eventually we're gonna put something like a chest I could put a chest there and temporary a little bit. The output we can put there on the left, so the left will be there. Now the output's there. So this line is actually all ready to go. It will automatically... Um, right now the control status is set to uh, signal low, so if I put something in there it would start pulverizing it or, smel or smelting it, except that there's no power right now. It's not powered. Because I haven't run, uh, I don't haven't run energy. I have to run mm. conduits, energy conduits, and I'm going to run them underneath. Um, but I will probably be doing that off camera because I'm probably going to run out run out of time. But anyway, I need to do that same thing to these other machines, and I think I'm going to do. So this one is easy. I'm just going to put the re buffer. Uh, excuse me, the relay goes there. So we got the pulverizer, mm. relay, and then a powered furnace, and then the chest is going to go there. And then I need to set up. I need to change the. Um, I need to set up the, uh, the tab, the input tabs, but I'll do that in a moment. Now this one, I guess I have. I have just enough room, because I can put another buffer there and then a power furnace there. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough room, but apparently I do. So that is very nice. Okay, so so we'll go in here. I would need. Um, okay, the uh, the input is on this one is in the back. So let's go back to the configure tab. And the back one is this one. Actually, it's already set up that way. So I can turn these off. And this can go off. And this can go off. And then the left is going to be um, output. And then this one, input mm -hmm. is to the right. Oh, this is, I, have, I need to change this right here. There we go. And what was I doing? Uh, there we go. OK, so. Uh, Input is to the right. There we go. And this can be off, and this can be off, and this can be off. And we got output is to the left. There we go. All right. And this one, um, that one's right, but this one needs to be changed. There we go. Now, oh, hmm, where is the front? Uh oh, this is not facing the right way. I need to change this right here. I need to change this so that it's facing this way. Good. Now, so um, input is to the right. Okay, this gets off, this is off, this is off, and output is to the left. There we go. And this one inputs to the right. And this is off, this is off, this is off, and output is to the left. Whoops, I had it already. There we go. And it looks like that is all ready to go, except for, uh, well, you know, that's a little, that is a little bit awkward right there. I guess that we're going to have to have, on this one, the output is going to have to be to the back. So we will turn that off. Mm. And I think this is the back one. Whoops, there. Mm. And I, I doubt if I have, I might have some chests on me. Three. What do you know? Okay. Now this is this is temporary. This is not. 
This is not the way I'm going to have it. But it, these actually will output to chess, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so this is all ready to go, except I don't have the enter energy conduits. I don't have the energy... Uh, I don't have, I don't have them, I don't have them actually powered yet. It's, and I wonder if I'm going to run out of time or not. If I, if I run out of time, I will finish the setup off camera and show it at the beginning of the next episode. Having this all set up and, uh, I actually have to, I have to set up the sorting machine too. But first I want to make an, uh, I want to make a, I need to grab con the energy conduit. And I want to make a redstone energy cell. Um, not in there. Not in there either. Okay, I was in the one upstairs. I should have some more energy conduit. I don't think I've used it all up, have I? There we go, 17, that should be enough. Uh, I don't suppose I have an energy cell there. Okay, so, uh, so, I think I have everything I need for an energy frame. Frame. We want, uh, not that one, we want this one. Okay, so I go like that. And uh, I have a diamond in there already. There we go. And I need to take this over here and fill it up with redstone. Molten redstone. Which should be... That was my timer. So let's drop this in here. There we go. Okay, so... So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to make an energy cell. I'm going to... I'm going to um, place the energy cell. See, I've got my my powers right here. I've got another energy cell right here, and then that's leading up. I think I'm going to put another energy cell. I guess I'll put it in there too. But I'm gonna I'm gonna route uh, the energy an energy conduit. A line of energy con conduit from there, um, leading over here, of course, and it's going to come down, and I'm going to put it underneath here to to um, to power all those things. And you know what? I think 17 energy conduits might not might not be enough, so I'm going to have to make some more energy conduit too. But I'm going to do all that off camera, and then uh, so the next episode I will show. I will show that working, and then I will set up, um, I need to set up the sorting machine to actually uh, sort what's coming through and send the ores down one line to that those uh, pulverizers and powered furnaces while everything else goes straight into the, into the barrels. So that will be it for this episode. Um, I think, I hope you enjoy, you know, found that interesting showing how the fabricator works. I think I might have shown it before, but I went in, you know, went into it a little more so you can see exactly how it works and how you can set up at least one way. I know Direwolf has his way of setting that up and it's kind of similar, but I think I did it a bit differently because I'm not so concerned about making things as compact as possible. And also it's, um, uh, it'll be a bit cumbersome. I mean... But I think it, it'll, it'll, it'll be not too hard to expand that, to add more lines in case I need to if that doesn't keep up with, uh, with a quarry. Anyway, so this has been Keith and Modesto playing Minecraft, setting up, uh, setting up some, some uh, automatic uh, pulverizing and smelting. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.